hello guys welcome back to my channel and in case if you didn't read by the thumbnail entitled today we're gonna be looking at a lady that is uh oops addicted to pretending to be furniture what um i know <clears throat> it sounds crazy, but apparently it started when she was 11 years old. Um, her aunt sat on her. At first, she was really traumatized because maybe her aunt was fat or something, and it hurt her back. But then later on, she's like, ooh, that felt nice. Hey, aunt, can you sit on me again? Huh? But anyway, um, that's, that's basically it. So we're just going to watch this video. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, <coughs> sorry. This lady looks like. <coughs> Give me a sec. Chucking on a Cheeto. Oh my god. It's delicious. She's a freaking drag queen. Also, <coughs> right here, it says she's 17. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Addicted to pretending to be furniture. I think it's it's something I've just loved doing all my life. And <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. I can't even explain how funny this looks to me. Because I actually used to do that as a kid, and I used to, um, when I was like four, um, I used to play hide and seek with my mom, and whenever I, um, I would put a lampshade on my head, I would pretend I was invisible, and she would play along with it, and it was so fun, which makes this hilarious to me. <laughs> Stems from, you know, one sort of Christmas my Aunt Rosemary sat on me accidentally, she didn't mean to, and I was frightened and horrified at first, but, you know, the more that I sort of recalled and remember. <coughs> so, okay, so just to summarize, she has a weird addiction to predict, for pretending to be um, furniture, right? And it started when she was 11, she had an aunt, and she sat on her. And all of a sudden, she's like, oh, my God, my aunt's so fat. Ah, ah, don't sit on me, don't sit on me. But then, later on, when she started thinking about it, she's like, uh, that felt pretty good. Uh, can you sit on me again? Like, please? 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 If I have to do it, it's a compulsion. I'll be doing, you know, the washing up, some sort of regular, you know, day-to-day -day activity, and I'll remember that I just love being furniture, and I have to just have to do it. <laughs> okay, so she just rushes from doing the laundry, as you can see right here, there's a laundry rack. She's doing the middle of the laundry, right? She just feels that sudden urge. She runs over to the corner and and goes into a chair position. Mm. Oh, okay, hon. My name is Nova. I am Olympia's, let's say, life partner. Okay, um, so, I think she's gay. Yeah. Because life partner usually means marriage. So, she's a gay person that, um, loves to be on the sofa. Totally 100% normal. Olympia is addicted to 
taking on the roles of various pieces of furniture. Well, we live in a very small apartment. I just don't understand how she thinks. I don't know. She, I don't think she, she, she has no idea. I am very aware of this. I don't want to say sickness. Hobby, perhaps. Um, when you're standing with a lampshade on your head, that's not inconspicuous. I can't explain it. I don't expect anyone to understand it. I just fucking love it. You know, an armchair, a chef long, and I'm there. What? Washing machine? Three hours? Yo! You know how much you can do in three hours and she just wastes it being a freaking laundry machine? She just be like, Ooh, I love clothes. Ooh. The three hours later, she like, ooh. You know, I just remembered. Um, oh, didn't I have a doctor's appointment? Or was that two hours ago? Oh, freak it. It's getting to the point now where it's really affecting, affecting me. And I'm, Whoa. You know, That face, though, she just like, hmm, mm hmm. Gonna tell my family and my friend. <laughs> Please come by. I've got this wonderful partner Nova, and she has no idea that I do. You're not incognito. I can see. Hey. You've got the same dream. <laughs> I'm yet to bring this to her attention though. I, I'm, I'm worried about what it would be like for our relationship if I brought this up with her. So as, as of right now, she doesn't know that I'm, a, I'm aware of this. Um, so, I mean, I brought you here today. I just, um, I have something to tell you, Nova. It's... It's kind of a big deal, I suppose. It's kind of hard for me to say this. But what? I am addicted to being furniture. <laughs> um, it's something, you know, I've had to battle with for a very long time. And I know that you never suspected you've got no idea. Oh, I know about the furniture thing that you do. No, you don't know. You have no idea. I you um, do this, this, this basically thing. Basically, what I do is this thing where I pretend furniture. to be furniture. Yes, no, you don't right know. There. You don't know. Let me just finish, please. Do you honestly think I don't know? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm just addicted to being furniture. I feel it. I am it. I am that armchair. We already have so much furniture. What else could you possibly turn into? Sometimes I feel like she wants me just to sit on it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's that's interesting. Um I don't ex exactly understand this, so I'm going to try it and see what the big deal's about. Okay, um uh, let's try it. <laughs> um, I don't really see the fun. Um, why don't I try a different pose? Uh, oh, wait, is it like <sighs> ah. <gasps> you know what? <coughs> <coughs> okay. Um yeah. So <coughs> let's see if I can keep this pose for ten seconds. Yeah, also BTW.